In this research project, we also produce the largest data set of the cattle in the world. So it's contained about 839 individual cattle. So we also um, open for anyone who interested in this data set to download it for free. So um, they can further use the data set for the perspective of research or the perspective of industrial development. We are more than welcome to um, make it for everyone to download it for free. Hello, I'm Warapan Kus Kunilan. I'm the Associate Professor at the Faculty of ICT, McGillan University. And I have been teaching here for about eight to nine years. And today, um, I'm going to talk about the research project about the biometric in animal. Okay? This project starts with the collaboration between the Faculty of ICT and also the Faculty of Veterinary Science in McGillan University. And also together with the, um, the veterinary Research and Development Center in Sulin Province um, with the, by the director of the center. Similar to the human, for the animal, we also need to identify individuals of them. Okay, like for this project, we're focusing on the Thai buffalo and also for the cattle. Um, the identifying individual animals here, it needs to be used in many real world applications. For example, we need for the disease control, we need for the control of the legal trading of the animal and also control of the movement to control the disease across the city in the country. For the recent technology that used for identify individuals, cattle or the Thai buffalo, they use like a microchip or the ear tag and also for the RFID. But each of them have the different benefit and different drawback. For example, the um, RFID or for the ear tag, it could be easy to be swapped or it could be easy to be lost and also for the microchip, it's quite difficult for the, um, for the human expert to implant the microchip into the body of animal, especially for the big animal like a cattle or the Thai, Thai buffalo. It's a difficult process to do that and also it has to be maintained. In order to um, retrieve the identity of, of them, we need to have the reader machine that try to scan very close to the animal, very close to the uh, buffalo in order to get the ID from the microchip. Okay, so to address the challenge or the difficulty that I just mentioned, similar to the human, we have something like called human biometric, for example, the fingerprint, the face, the eyelids that can identify individual human. So similar here for the Thai buffalo or for the cattle, we try to develop and seek out the biometric for the animal here. So. In this project, we choose to have the muscle or the nose pattern around here of the Thai buffalo and also the extend that to be include the face information and the body of the Thai buffalo to define the biometric for the buffalo. Okay, so for this project, we go on the real field. We go to take the data set, go to take the image on the real field where they uh, raise up or in the farm of the Thai buffalo and also for the cattle. We get the data set and then we bring it back to the, to the lab to do the uh, training process by using the technology in IT and in computer based on the deep learning process and also for some additional enhancement techniques like to improve the performance of the accuracy of the identifying the, the cattle or the animal here. So after we get the identification model, we further develop the mobile application for the easy uses of the general user. They can use the mobile application with the develop model to use in the real task, in the real world scenario. And also as a result for this research project, we come up with the largest data set. It contained about 839 individual buffalo. We also released the data set about a month ago for anyone in the field or any researcher who want to go on and develop the further technology or further algorithm to make it better and get the higher accuracy. For this project, um, as a result, we get about 90% accuracy for identify 839 individual type buffalo. Also, at the moment, we try to further develop this technology to be used in the smart farming and also we open for any collaboration for the research purpose or for industrial purpose. 
So if you're interested in reading more information for this paper or want to get the data set for your research, you can go to visit my webpage or send me the email for the further collaboration. Thank you.